Hey everybody and welcome back to Triple X Burner Reviews. Turn up, we have a product brought to you from our good friends at Toys Hearts Japan. Hi Hero, hi everybody. Um, this up right here is the Type Virgin. Yeah, and as the name suggests, they really went out of their way to give you guys a product that kind of replicates having sex with a virgin. And I'm not talking about those girls who like to lie and say they are virgins and they're not. And then you go swimming in the deep end and you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, here's like, a lot of room in here. Something doesn't feel right. It's like, oh no, maybe you're just small. And you're like, whoa, whoa, oh no, last girlfriend said I was the average size. And you just cry. And you cry. Anyway, so yeah, here she is, the tight virgin. Now, the box heart is your traditional Toys Hearts box art, where it's very sexy, very seductive. You have a rather young looking girl on the front, hence I guess where they got the name Tight Virgin. They kind of want to give you this illusion that you're having sex with a younger woman who is of age, by the way, by the way, at least in this reality of mine. But anyway, here she is, really nice packaging. On this back you get a bunch of information that won't be helpful to you at all. And on the very back, you get a cutaway look of what the inner textures of the toy looks like. And on the side, you get kind of a girl with her legs spread apart, wearing what I only could guess is like a school bathing suit uniform, I guess. I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, here she is. And let's go ahead and break this box open, let you guys know what's inside, and then we'll dive into our review in the greater detail when we break it down into our categories. So anyway. You open up the box and inside you will find this hard plastic sleeve that contains your toy. Keeps everything nice and snug in place during shipping. And you'll also find this little guy. That's kind of weird. Unless you speak Japanese or read Japanese, you're not going to know what this is. But this is supposed to be like little pages of a diary from this girl. I guess depicting what she would like her first sexual experience to be. If you have a fluid imagination, you could just pretend to be reading Japanese and make up whatever story you want about this girl. I think she's having like a phone conversation with somebody at one point talking about where they're going to meet up and where her deflowering is going to take place and hopefully Dear Diary it's exactly what she dreamed of and not in some kind of gas station restroom on her way to a school dance. I'm not saying that's where I lost my virginity but anyway so yeah, you get your plastic little case here that holds your toy and a sample lube of Moisty, which I love. Now, I do also love the other um, um, Toys Hearts lubes that they come out with. I absolutely love Vanessa and Company. I highly suggest if you guys don't have that already, try that out. It's very slick, very smooth. You don't have to constantly reapply. I absolutely love it. The Moisty is a little more tackier. So yeah, just so you guys are aware. I like it, but I prefer the Vanessa and Company. So anyway, you pull this little guy out to reveal your toy or your sleeve. She does come inside this really handy dandy plastic sleeve that you guys can put the toy back in by all means when you're storing it away. If you don't have like a makey bag to put your toy in. Now, when you're pulling this out of the packaging, if you are familiar with masturbators at all, or if you have owned a few Toys Hearts products in the past, you probably know right off the bat just by looking at the packaging, you're like, Hey, where's all that nasty residue that I normally get from my other masturbators where the material has reached the sides of the plastic and left this like sticky, icky film all over the place? Where is that? Well, you're not going to find it. And that's largely due to the fact that the material that Toys Hearts use in this product, and that is their fine cross material, which I freaking love to death. It reminds me of skin. It's that nice um, feeling to it, but it does have this slight sandpaper, sandpaper feeling to it and it just has like this unique dryness so when you're cleaning it that helps out a lot the fine cross material helps out a lot it gives you this realism but it does help out with cleanup like nobody's business now when you first look upon this toy you will notice it does have that youthful look that camel toe that hidden lip design that i love that magic eyes has utilized it before in the past it's just beautiful very young youthful look to it now you spread the lips back and you see inside that there's actual hidden lips behind that. Now this serves kind of a purpose. It might not be to most guys, like right off the bat, you're not gonna look at it and say, oh, I know why that's there. But it doesn't, not only does it add to stimulation, it actually helps maintain the lube inside so it doesn't spill out, doesn't go everywhere. So if you pull the um, lips back a little bit and pour a little bit of lube in there, it will stay in place without spilling out. So yeah, not only does it help with the sensation of the toy, 
but it also helps with lube maintenance or whatever. Anyway, let's go ahead and break this down into this dimensions so you guys get a better idea of what the overall lengths and all that stuff is. The overall dimensions on this toy is 6 inches by 2.5 inches by 2.5 inches with a tunnel um, dimension length about 5 inches. So it will accommodate mostly anybody. Like I've said so many times before when it comes to Toys Hearts Masturbator Reviews, these things will stretch for days. So if you are like 18 inches long, you're still going to get some enjoyment out of this toy, okay? So don't worry about that. Now, this is a dual layer construction, which means the outer layer is made of the soft material, the skin-like material, and the inside is made of a harder material to help with stimulation while you're using the toy. Now, it's not throughout the entire toy, it's only halfway, and that has a lot to do with this toy's selling point and this appeal and why it has the name Type Virgin, and we'll get onto that um, here in a minute when we break this down into our categories. So without further delay, let's go ahead and get onto it. Now first up for sensation and feeling, I gave this a 4.2 out of 5, because this is ultimately unique from are yeah, unique from any other masturbator that I own in the fact that it is a dual layer construction but only what only it being halfway. So when you first enter this toy you're met with these tiny little fingernails at the top and even smaller ones at the bottom which kind of gives you this like this nice little weird sensation. It's very soft, very gentle but it's enough um, enough sensation to kind of like bring you to the peak of like happiness like yeah it feels really good. I like that. But past that, there is a service, uh, cervix point, this little choke point, like this little hollow little ring, this little tiny little ring that you have to press your penis through to get to the back two chambers. Now, the back two chambers are lined with that dual layer construction, so there's another thin set um, layer of material to help increase the sensation and give you this overall tightness and firmness, like you're blasting past something that you're not supposed to be blasting past. So you get this nice, soft, sensual feeling as soon as you penetrate it. And you can even tell by just by holding the toy that there's like this soft, plush, youthful feel to it all. And when you first insert yourself, you will get that impression and that idea as you're using it toy. As you penetrate it, you get those little nubs brushing across the head of your penis. And you're like, oh, this is nice. This isn't so bad. And then you try to push past that cervix point and the, the sensation and the overall feeling just increases tenfold and it just becomes a whole new experience. Now, I will say this, when I first used it, I was well aware that there was a service point in here that I had to push past with my penis. It was insanely difficult. I had it already lubed up, so I was kind of fighting with it and trying to force the, the little ring over my penis because I am rather girthy and it was rather hard to do so. So I was just fighting with it and it became kind of awkward and kind of frustrating. So you guys will have to use some patience. If you're a little bit bigger in size, it is gonna take a little bit to push past that cervix. So when I finally did, it did add to the sensation. It was really weird because the lower half of your penis will give this soft, supple um, sensation, while the other half is getting kind of this very, uh, not too hard, it's kind of middle mid-range hardness because there's nothing really in there. It's just lined with like these little very shallow nubs and these two different um, cervix um, chambers where it's like this big round um, air pockets. But if you control it correctly, you will get some suction. As you can hear, just by me squeezing it, that's the air just pushing out of it and burping it. If you do it right by squeezing at the bottom and pushing yourself through, you will get a hell of a lot of suction to the head of the penis that you can actually utilize to your benefit. It just increases its sensations tenfold. I absolutely loved it. It was a little bit of a pain in the ass to get past that. But once you do, and once you get into a rhythm, it's a sensation unlike any other that I've ever felt. I just really, really loved the fact that the bottom half of my penis was getting this very soft, um, sensual sensation, while the top half, like the head of the penis and the front of the in particular, were getting this very, um, not rough, I keep using the word rough, or I want to use the word rough, but I don't know why. But it was just like a harder sensation that you could actually feel it across your, the head of your penis and on the um, front of your penis. I loved it. But it did take a lot to get that going, especially pushing past that cervix point because it is a really, really tight hole. But once you do, it's unlike anything you ever felt. The two chambers are separated by another ring, by a bigger um, cervix ring. So you will feel that pushing against your penis too, but you just got to get into like a slow rhythm of it all. 
So if you have it on your penis, I hope you guys can kind of visualize, you'll have that tight cervix ring, the very first one, the middle of your penis, depending on how long, um, large you are. You'll have that on there. And then you'll have that secondary ring pushing over the top of your head of your penis down to the bottom of the bottom of it and then back again. So if you do it all like in sections while you're masturbating with this toy, it's an unbelievable sensation. Like you push it past the first ring, then past the second, then pull it up and allow those rings to just kind of caress past the head of your penis. Lights out. Unbelievably fantastic. Does it feel like you're having sex with a virgin? No, not really. <laughs> do they have the idea nailed? Sure they do. So that's why I gave it this um, score of 4.2 out of 5 when it comes to sensation and feeling. Now, moving on to cleaning and maintenance, as you can imagine with those tight little service, um, cervix rings inside this toy, it will be a rather difficult task to get any kind of foam brush or any kind of cleaning materials down in there to make sure that all the material is completely whipped away, especially your antibacterial toy cleaner to make sure anything that was in the back end of those two chambers are completely cleared away. So you will have to take some time, get your fingers down in there, pry that cervix point open, spray some antibacterial toy cleaner down there, rinse all out, all, all of the foreign material, and try to wick away as much water and moisture as you possibly can before storing. So it does became, become highly difficult. So that's why I gave it a 3.5 out of or 3.5 out of 5 because it's going to need some intention. It definitely is because like I said, those little cervix points are so tight. They're so hard to get anything down in there that it is going to be a bit of a chore. It can be done, but by all means guys, use caution. Um, take some time, make sure that it's completely dried before you store it away because like I said, any kind of moisture will um, help promote the growth of black mold and you guys do not want that, trust me, you're just basically throwing your money down the drain. Now, because it is made of that fine cross material, I do not suggest you using any uh, like a heavy dose of cornstarch. It will kind of get a little bit tacky to the touch once it's submerged in water, but it will go away after you just pat dry it. So by all means, if you need to, just use a very light dusting of cornstarch. Don't try to shove it down in there. I think that will actually kill it. So don't put any inside the tunnel, just on the outside, because you want to maintain that tackiness that the fine cross material has on the inside, that supple little fingers snagging on your penis, like just kind of doing a little ticky tacky thing on your penis. You want to keep that um, sensation. So don't put anything on the inside, just lightly dust on the outside, and you'll be ready to go. Now. Moving on to price and performance, I gave this a score of 4.1 out of 5 because this retails at Toy Demon's website for $36.95. And that's a pretty damn good price for what you get. And I seriously applaud Toy, Toys Hearts for doing this. They don't go overboard. They don't say, okay, we're going to make a $60 masturbator. We're going to charge people $70 for this. We're going to charge people $80 for this. They know where their demographic is and where the price point should be. And they utilize it to their advantage. They're very reasonable in their pricing. And $36.95 for this toy is a great price. And they've been doing it a lot lately. And I'm serious. You've got to applaud these guys for not trying to like rob you blind of your hard-earned money to sell you a masturbator. So yes, it's a very, very good price. And that's why we scored it at a 4.1 out of 5 because I'd pay that price any day of the week. And if you're looking for a masturbator under 50 bucks, I turn everybody on to Toys Hearts. I'm like, just go look. Look at something that strikes your fancy. You're not going to spend over $45 on this thing. Just look around at Toy Demon's website at all the different Toys Hearts products. Pick one and you're bound to love it because they do an excellent job of trying to keep your guys' sensation in mind and by utilizing it in their toy, knowing that they want you guys to fall in love with them. So anyway, so yeah, so that's why I gave it a final score of 3.9 out of 5, which lands it in the highly recommended um, category. I'm sorry, I keep looking at this thing. It is kind of a low score only because the usability was kind of an issue for me and it was kind of floppy. I did like that it was a unique new sensation, but I just wanted something more. That just seemed like the, the two chambers in the back weren't lined with enough. I really wish the back chamber was lined with the same finger nubs that I'm, I'm greeted with when I first entered the toy. I wanted the back to have something, some kind of like added bonus for being there. Because it felt like when you first um, penetrated a toy, the fingers were nice and supple and just it was a great sensation. You pushed past those cervix rings that were great. I just wanted something else back there at the very back of that chamber to just kind of go, yeah, hang out here more. 
So it would have been nice to see the back end of that chamber line with those really long fingers that you're greeted with when you initially penetrate the toy. That's the only thing I could suggest to Toys Hearts for improvements on this toy. Other than that, they really do have a winner, guys. Go ahead and click the links in the description to pick up your very own. If you do, let us know what you think because, like I said, feedback is vital when it comes to um, developing these new toys. They listen to everything you guys have to say, all your pros and cons, and it really does help shape the future of sex toys. You guys are there. Your voice needs to be heard so people can stop pumping out all this repetitive shit that somebody will finally listen to you guys and do something new and um, exciting. So yeah, let your voice be heard, guys. If you buy this thing, let me know what you guys think. I'd love to hear your feedback. I know for a fact Toys Hearts would love to hear your feedback as well. But other than that, I want you guys to all stay safe. Don't hurt anybody, and I'll see you all here next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye. I got video games to play.